To connect Excel Trail with an existing Git repository, go to your settings over here and then add repository. I'm here on GitHub, but it essentially works the same on all of the platforms. So you want to go to your clone link. Important not the link here in the URL, but on the one that you can use for cloning a repository. And also again, make sure to be on the HTTPS address and not on the SSH one. Copy that link and paste it here into the repository URL. Note that on the cloud we can only handle repositories that are accessible from the internet, such as GitHub, GitLab or Bitbucket. If this is a public repository, then you can click on save. You do not have to, to fill in user or token. However, if this is a private repository, go here, in the case of GitHub, to settings, then developer settings, personal access token, and then click on generate new token. Give it an, a name, for example, Excel Trail, and click on the repo scope. Then say generate token and use that token here. Use it as the token in the Excel Trail interface. So put in your username, the token we just created, and then click on save. If you did everything correctly, then you will get the green notification here and you can click on workbooks to see things in progress. If you use a different Git provider, then go to exaltrail.com slash docs and learn about the other vendors where you can get such a Git token. So it's explained for all the major offerings out there. Now go back to Excel Trail, uh, give it a reload if it's on processing and go into the repository. So every Excel file that you have in your repository will now be showing up in your Excel Trail version of the repository. So click into the file, you can see the contents here and when you go on history you can see all my commits here from the GitHub repository in that case and I can just click on the commit message and see what changed in that specific commit. So you can see in green here what is new or has been added and in red what is old or has been deleted. So you can see that I have deleted column F, I inserted row 11 and I've changed the content here of cell D13 from a formula into a hard-coded value, which is an often seen source for errors. If you go back, you can also see down here all the changes we made on the VBA part. This is pretty much the same as what GitHub shows you for standard text files. If we now wanted to add another commit, then just open the Excel file, change whatever you have to change. So let's say the title, save it, and then whatever client you want to use to, to commit your Git changes, you can use that. And so here I'm using the GitHub desktop client, but you can literally use any other client. So give it a commit message like updated title, I commit that and push it to GitHub. And once that's pushed, I can go back to Excel Trail and already see my latest commit turning up here with my title change. If I go back to the history page, I can also compare any two commits with each other this works across branches. In fact, I could also have used different branch names to do that.